Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Danganronpa S Ultimate Summer Camp. So, continuing on with a bit more development mode and all that, I want to uh, make a decision on who we're actually taking out next. And I'm thinking Kiyotaka possibly could be a good one. Should we take um, our rank Kiyotaka? This is probably not one that we'll be using in the battle mode, but, well, hey, should be interesting. It just gets us a step closer to, uh, you know, unlocking the next Monocle Hope fragment and all that. I see! Those who put in the effort shall be rewarded. What a wonderful system indeed. Yeah, so we'll probably do some nice uh, friendly events in this one, you know, just see what sort of things we can find. And obviously we're not going to be really aiming to get too far, I don't think. So if we get to a decent way, then that's fine. But for now, we're just going to concentrate maybe on, uh, like I say, moving towards the next Monocle Pope fragment. Which, if it is, uh, you know, being sort of akin to... Obviously, how V3's monocorps eventually disappeared. Then, presumably, um, it's Monodam next. I think I've already said that. Interesting that uh, Kiyotaka already attacks first. Hmm. Guess he has a little, a little bonus where he has a bit more speed. Interesting. Right, um, let's move on towards the shop if we can. Uh, which we can't at the moment, but we'll do a friendly event because that's what we're here for. Maybe a sip of water whilst I'm at it. Hmm. Lovely jubbly. So last time, obviously, we... Oh! Hmm! Oh, wait. Is this not the same one that we had literally last episode? I was about to say, last episode we took Gonter out onto the no. board. Oh, yes. This is just about bugs in the sea, isn't it? Um... Okay, well, I see. we've already seen this scene. If you want to obviously see this again, you can pause the video on each text box. Uh, hey! I'm very... Oh! Hmm! Yeah, um, yeah. Hey, we've seen it all before. I see. Don't you worry. Mm. Yep, yeah, I know. I know. I'm kind of skipping through that one, but ideally, we want some new friendly events and all that. I do think, ladies and gentlemen, too perfect for the shop. Lovely. Let's get our hasses in here. Got my rod. Thank you. Got on the bounce. Thank you. First island card. That seems to be my go-to strat now for the first island. Get that first island card. Ooh, it's got a double move. What if we could actually use that straight away, do you reckon? Nah, I'll save it, actually. Don't use it up. Don't blow it all at once. Right, out here. Uh, do you want talent fragments? I'm not really too bothered about skills, since obviously we're not going to be taking this character out to the dev board, so... For now, just go there. Get another generic level up. Right. So... Yeah, let's just head in here straight away. Get the first boss, we'll head to the center island and do the usual thing. Don't know why I'm trying to sort of like speed run this almost, but hey. Hmm. Right. Uh, save our double move for now. Because obviously this uh, whole building is actually sort of easy to, you know, navigate your way through. There's not many squares in it. Right. Smash that guy up. There we go. Once again, Kiyotaka seems to have. Um, Good sort of ability to regen certain points between moves, as you saw just then. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. Copy my card. Which one are you copying? Okay, don't so long. What? Uh. Ooh. Don't really want. Mm, mm, I don't want to. Mm, it's giving me loads of cards all at once. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's go over and get the Monokuma sect. Could have actually gone to that secret chest at the back there, but, well, never mind. I think we got this this guy's number. Yeah, he dead. Real good. Lovely. Right. Let's uh, use one of our first island cards now at this point. Get ourselves out of here. We can always try a high jump. See where that gets us. Maybe someone to the centre island. Okay. Stopped on a battle square. That's okay. Because I think if we use a high jump at this stage, it shouldn't take us... Well, there's always a risk it could take us further back in towards the first island. Which is not too bad of a problem. Because we've always got another first island card we could try playing with. Go on, let's gamble. Let's just jump, see where it takes us. Hmm. Great, centre island. Perfect. Exactly where we want to be. Get some of that cash money. Thank you. Again, I should be concentrating on uh, 
you know, the actual friendly events and all that. So all around here somewhere there is. Let's go to this one. Let's do a friendly event. Oh, Nekamaru. Hmm. Expanding one's possibilities. This camp has been a golden opportunity. You hear me? Nekamaru, there's something I'd like to ask you. Oh! Oh, what is it? I'm ready to answer anything. In other words... I ask you then, as the superior manager, what do you think is most important in improving efforts? Hmm. Assuming you're talking about athletes, let's see, what's most important? <clears throat> Goals, records, evaluations, that sort of cycle. Hmm. Also getting to the chopper. Could you explain in greater detail? Oh. First, goals. That includes goals that practically feel too absurd to aim for. Huh? But also goals that can be achieved today, and that require just a little push to achieve. Hmm. I see, so a plan is a necessary foundation. What next? Yeah. Records. Record your daily results to keep up to date on your present condition. Pay attention! When you see your records improving over time, it also serves as a great motivator. I see! That can even be applied to studies. I'll be sure to adopt that. And last... Huh? Evaluations. That means assessments by both others and yourself. You must recognise your abilities. Oh. Then you have someone you trust go over the results and help to discover a whole new you. However... If you can't assess yourself, you'll be anxious. If others don't evaluate you, you can't grow. Oh. How much importance one places on an evaluation depends on the athlete. Me, I provide support. What is it? And then you require any dis record any discoveries even from your evaluations and from there you find new goals. Y yeah. Actually, perhaps I've been neglecting to go over the evaluations of my peers. Count on it! Thank you, Nogamaru. With your help, I should be able to strive ever further. Huh? But I didn't do much. However... Not like you're an athlete under me anyway. I didn't provide any specific instructions. Show some spirit! So consider my words mere reference material. Go forth and forge your own path. Hmm. Yes, it was helpful indeed. Hmm. While attending Hope's Peak, I was helped by others and learned the joy of cooperation. Got it! I'll forever make your words a part of who I am. You have my gratitude, Mr. Ultimate Team Manager. What an interesting uh, dynamic that was. <laughs> right. If we can get to the shop, then that's good. Yeah, we can. I suppose if we do this. Yeah, there you see, that's how you do it. I figured out the path he want, would have wanted to take. Um, steel underpants. Steel rod. Uh, Central Island card. In fact, uh, yeah, we could probably get two of them. Not probably, we can. Shall I get that? Nah, we'll go, we'll go to the second island this time round. Okay, lucky chance activated, obtained a one move card. Well, go do this. Get another friendly event. Seems to be what I'm going for this one. Oh. Hey! That's an interesting uh, combination. Masaru, why are we seeing so much of you this last couple of episodes? Well, listen up, if I win, you better shower me with all the snakes I can eat. That's right. Yeah, yeah, promise is a promise. Pst, Karumi, pst, even. Karumi said that today's snacks are cream puffs with Pralo sack if you want it. Alright! Oh, really? In that case, the victory is totally mine. Nobody can beat the PE King himself. Hmm. Ah, oh, a race. What a splendid and healthy activity. You hear me? But a fair race needs a judge, so allow me to play the role. Got it. Oh, cool. Please do. Alright, let's go, Masaru. You got your Pralo sack on you? Take this! Oh, bring it. Get ready to be lapped. Got it! Let's begin. On your marks, get set. <laughs> Oh, it's a swimming race? And the name of the game is... Here, yeah, check it out. I really am the fastest and strongest. Damn. Damn, it was good. These little ultimates ain't messing around. Must be all our prowlers that can yeah. be secretly feeding them. I hate to admit it, but those cream puffs are yours. They're still growing, so go to town, kiddo. Duh. The heck yeah. I'm going to stuff them down till I hurl. <laughs> Can't wait to brag to everyone. <laughs> I figured he was a bratty kid, but seeing him like this brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Kojo, I never took you for... Well, there's something on your mind, bud. Well done. Damn, though, he's got a bright future. I was swimming my ass off and still got wrecked. Count on it. So it seems surely I won't fare any better. All right. Well, crap, now I'm all snackless. Maybe I'll score a yakisoba at the Monocup's place. <laughs> Allow me to accompany you. I'll gladly spit a dango if you'd like. Wholesome. It's good when you get just the wholesome scenes. People just having fun, I guess. Right, let's uh, use that. That should get us to the next boss. Over here. There we are. Perfect. Alright, sip of water. Hmm. Instantly defeated. Fantastic. 150 of them, bad boys. Open second island for me, please. Plenty of friendly event squares here. Second island's probably good for what we're trying to do on this particular run. Alright. 
Hmm, potential. I've always believed that hard work leads to infinite potential. Right, why don't I demonstrate just how powerful my vision for the world truly is? Now, get up, try to build a pure and just society, create a world where no hard worker suffers, build a society with hope for our children. I don't want to talk to the kids. Um, that one, uh, either of these ones. Uh, no hard worker suffers. Oh, Hachime, hey. hello. Actually makes sense that it would be you. Ari, you've always said that you want to create a society where hard work always pays off. Count on it! Indeed, that's what a healthy society is, a society is all about. Couldn't say that all of a sudden. I'll be, I believe that you'll approve of my ideology. You're right. Arr, I agree. I think society would be better off like that too. Without a doubt. I knew you'd understand. I'd be delighted if you'd lend me a hand. What? Ah, uh, me? Hmm. I've always wondered about how the reserve course was run. Mm. As a regular student of the academy, I never really had any way of knowing. You hear me? Even so, it's my impression that it's not run in any healthy sort of manner. I'll start by changing Hopespeak Academy, which has a major impact on the country's future. You understand? And it's very near and dear to my heart. Mm. Arr, you really think hard work can change everything? <laughs> of course. So it would be splendid indeed if you could help me. <laughs> what am I saying? I need your help. You're the only student familiar with both the normal curriculum and reserve course. Got it. Arr, that's true. I'll think on it. I worked hard toward gaining a supporter. I feel like I've gotten a step closer to my ideal world. I see. Tarka's trying to change the world for the better and all that. I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, we've got a few talent fragments from that, which is good. See? It's very much worth doing some of these special events and all that. Uh, shall we land... Let us land... Uh, do a mid-boss battle, to see how tough we are. Sure. Because we might go to the shop here, you never know. We'll see. Alright, smash up this guy. Oh, there we go. Gangster Kuma, it didn't do much to me. Boom. Okay, we are tough. We could probably take the tank on if we wanted. Mm. Lovely jubbly. Okay, let's do some more friendly events on here if we can. So I feel like then we'll sort of, you know, build our way towards um, one of the achievements you can get in this, which involves just doing a load of free, you know, free time events and all that. Just like Shirakuma said, it looks like this place has been taken over as the children's secret base. By the way... Well, have they ever come here, after all? It's the ideal hideout for those adult-hating kids. Hey, come on! Man, what a mess. I know this ain't reality, but do they have to be such slobs? Hmm. Children cannot live off junk food and juice. They need Territorio's nutritional guidance. Stat. Um, listen. It's fun to make a secret base as a kid, but I can, I can understand that. Hmm. It's a unique and fun atmosphere, too, so it's probably more comfortable for them than the hotel. Hmm. But wouldn't staying in such a dim place be bad for their eyes? Would one even be able to rest here? Whatever the case, it can't be healthy. That's true. True enough, but can we really just take the hideout from them? Uh, um... That doesn't feel right, no. Even us entering unannounced might be enough to upset them. Hmm. Shall we have a meeting? At minimum, they need to clean up their mess and spend less time here. Okay. Right, we can let them play here, but I think we need to establish some rules. I see! Then we are in agreement. Sayaka, always the voice of reason. Hey. And shall we just leave for now and come back another time? <clears throat> I'm unsatisfied with leaving it a mess. But... Yes, but if you touch their belongings, you might hurt their self-esteem. Huh? They need to deal with it themselves, otherwise they'll never learn to clean up, right? Count on it! Precisely. Then it's decided. Let us withdraw without touching anything. Oh, Jeez, Jesus. I never thought the day would come when I'd have to worry about looking after kids. <laughs> I'm a little surprised myself, but I feel like we can't just leave those kids be. See, you're taking on the parental roles, are you? <laughs> okay, cool. Rise oh, you're copying the... Oh. Sure. So then... Obviously, this is not going to be... An amazing run, so I don't really care. If you if you balls it up, so what? Mm. Yeah, he balls it up. Doesn't matter though. There's a shop right there. We can just buy some more if we want to. Iron rod. Oof. Gone down to cloth underpants again. Monodam, you freak. All right. Uh, let us get some more cash from this one. Smash up the crab. Boom. Gangster man can't do anything to me. And he dead. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, what now? Right. Oh. And money. So Thank you. Give me money. 100 jabber coins, that's great. Oh, some 6 6 6 6, six move card. Hey, Nagato, we've not seen you for a while. Alright, let's use this one then. And just see where we can get to. Oh, we can get to the shop. Oh, hang on, if I. Sort of. I'm careful about it. Uh, so if I go... Oh, how does one... 
get to that friggin... One, two... I kind of want to go to the shop. Oh, great. It's going to force me. Oh, well, fuck it. Do a friendly event, then. Oh, All Carne. Right. All right, time for a swim. Just hold on. Stop right there, Akane. You must stretch before entering the water. Huh? Well, you're so annoying. Do you always have to be so nitpicky? That's wrong. Doing warm-ups is most certainly not being nitpicky. It's common sense. That's enough. I mean, if it weren't for Nikamaru, you'd never be able to manage yourself. Huh. What's wrong with that? Managing me is the old dude's job, ain't it? Just hold on. <laughs> you're calling him an old dude, are you? <laughs> Pretty sure he's meant to be the same age as everyone else here. <laughs> Just because you have a manager doesn't mean you can neglect training. Let me try that line again. Just because you have a manager doesn't mean you can neglect taking care of yourself. Hmm. It's not like you're the only one Nikomaru, Nik Nikomaru is managing right. You hear me? You'll only end up causing extra trouble for Nikomaru at this rate. So annoying. Ah, yeah, shut up. I get it already. Will you get off my back if I do some damn stretches? Jeez. Hmm. Yes, as long as you understand. Allow me to perform warm-ups beside you. I don't think she wants that, but okay. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You. Hey, that's wrong. You need to do it more like this, stretching the muscle more, you see? Oh, uh, like this? Huh? Wrong, wrong, all wrong. You'll never loosen up like that. Here, let me help. <sighs> oh, that hurts, Akane. Ouch. What? Damn, you're stiff as a board. Here you are, nagging me when you can't even do it yourself. You. You'll sink like an anchor at this rate. Come on, bossy boy, stretch more. <laughs> this too shall pass. <laughs> Got more than you bargained for there, didn't you, bud? Hmm. Ah. Right, give us a one. Or something that just lets me uh, go somewhere else. Okay, sure. Friendly event. Let's do another one. Why not? Oh, Shuichi. All right. All right. That should do it. Hmm. Oh, Shuichi. Reading a book, are you? Hmm. Or perhaps not a book, but a file. Okay. I'm looking over my log of accepted detective jobs since enrolling in Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. A request log. Hmm? Give me records on paper is tried and true. I like it. No. Back at my uncle's detective firm, I usually use a computer instead. Uh, um, and I figured it would be a good idea to use paper to help hone my talent here. I see! A fine idea, I must say. One must use their talent in order to hone it, after all. Hmm. And you, Shuichi, don't overly rely on yours, and yet you complete even the smallest of requests. Remember. It is my job, after all. I'm just doing what has to be done. Count on it! Such modesty, yet another admirable trait. Folks like Mew and Leon would do well to learn from you. Uh. Okay. I really don't think I deserve that much praise, but I appreciate it. Just hold on! However, while watching you, I realise there's a paper-thin line between modesty and timidity. Huh? In other words... Since spending more time with Kaijo and Maki, you've begun looking people in the eye more. Got it! But sometimes you still slouch your back. Always keep a firm and straight posture. Ah! Uh, right, got it. Hmm. Yes, splendid. Uh, um... Why am I suddenly being scolded? <laughs> ah, my apologies, I'm only kidding. <laughs> really? It's not always easy to tell. Hmm. I truly am sorry, however, I do recommend maintaining a proper posture. In other words... I believe hard workers such as you are the ones who should live life with utmost confidence. Hmm. Kiyotaka. <laughs> My apologies for interrupting your assignment. Let us converse again another time. Uh, um... So I guess that's his way of complimenting me? Yeah, sure is. There you go. Hmm. What, what do you want now? Yeah. Hmm? Our solo. yeah, yeah, give me your card and get out of here. Recovery card, okay, sure, sure. Better than out. Alright, let's um Can we get to the shop? Yes we can. Perfect. Perfecto. Let's get um a steel rod. Oh. Can't buy that really. Well never mind. Um What cards have I got? Two Central Islanders. I don't need this first island. Let's um sell that off. That's better. Um, I'll keep hold of the others though, for now. You can always uh, get that, you know, come back here in, in a moment, because we're not, like I say, trying to sort of push too far ahead. We're just having a bit of fun. Oh, hmm. back in the library. Yes, splendid. I see you've been studying diligently even away from school, Rantaro. Oh, yeah. Hey, I couldn't slack off knowing you've made homework and quizzes for me, Kiyotaka. Oh, quizzes from Kiyotaka, you say? Intriguing. going to bother you to make one for me as well. I'm very happy right now. For one with a passion for learning, say no more. I'm thrilled to study alongside kindred spirits. Hmm. My education prior to high school was inadequate, so I'd like to make up for it now. <coughs> Byakuya. Got it! You can count on me. I'll be there alongside you, cheering on your effort with all my might. How should I put this? Well, judging from your test results, Byakuya, you sure don't seem to be lacking in education. Wow, impressive. Did you study that much all on your own? Talk about impressive. 
<laughs> That's a given while borrowing Byakuya Tagami's likeness. Just imagine him with poor grades. <laughs> yeah, true enough. Can't imagine it's easy becoming another person entirely. <clears throat> Byakuya, your de efforts deserve rewarding. But living a lie is far from an admirable life. I don't even know how to respond. Such blatant disrespect for your studies. Hmm. Kiyotaki, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Don't worry. Simply acknowledging my life up to now and supporting me is all I can ask for. That's right. My talent is my own burden to bear. You need not concern yourself with it. So unsure. Right. So let's cherish our study time together while we can, side by side. Mm-hmm. Mountain Kiyotaki's been busy. <laughs> Putting together study groups, all kinds of stuff. Let's do another mid-boss. Get some more cash. Smash that crab. Six damage is all that guy's got. Beating the shit out of him. Fantastic. 600 jumper coins should enable us to go back into the shop and get what we need. Right. Where now? Uh, let's go to a generic growth square. Sure. Haven't hit one of them for a while. Could probably do with levelling up a little bit. Okay. Do that. Uh, back down to the shop. Perfect. Most excellent roll. Right, we want steel underpants, don't we? Just because. And we could also get a second island card. So that way, once we beat the tank, we can just get straight out. Ooh, six move. I have to get rid of something. Um, get rid of the recovery card. Don't really use them, do I? I uh, can use the six move straight away, why not? Let's go down this way towards where the boss is. Alright, mid-boss time again. Smash that guy up. I'm on a dragon head, that's what they're called. Okay, more coins for me. More money. Can we get in? Yes, we can. Might as well do this. Get straight in. Hello, hello. Who's in here? Just Monokuma? One. Oh god, that's rubbish. Oh, and Sonya. Up there. Right. Break this guy down. Defense is not going to help you. <laughs> just it uh, ended. I just absolutely annihilated the guy. The crab guy, crab, whatever you want to call him. Oh, Chiaki. I'm still hoping to uh, get your character card at some point. So many characters I want to play as, who I just don't have the cards for them yet. Right. Fail to afflict me. Got him. Tank man is down. Lovely. Hmm. Obtain the snake scroll. Very good. Leveled up even further. Got a six move card. Probably use that to... Actually, no. We'll just do this. Go somewhere on the second island. Hmm. Could do some more free time events. Oh, look at that. On a friendly square. Perfect. Oh. I see! Not this one. I see, you understand, Doctor. However, considering the historical backgrounds of both sides... Mm, it's gone late. That won't do. Seems I let my passion get the better of me. Anyway... But I'm so close to... Oh, God, what was, what was your voice? Did I ever give you a voice? I never gave you a voice. I don't have a voice for you. Maybe I just do the same as Kiyotaka, I don't know. He so it strikes me as sort of like a... Well, he's obviously a little ultimate social study, so... I don't know, intellectual kid? But I'm so close to solidifying a thesis on the policies of the current administration. Hmm. I'd like to continue. Never have I met someone with whom I could exchange ideas so freely. You hear me? However, let us continue after supper. You understand? It would be a failure as a role model if I were to disturb the life's rhythm of a growing child. <laughs> What's he going to say to that? Hmm. What is it? Don't tell me you snacked too much and spoiled your appetite. <laughs> of course not. After such an intense discussion, I'm quite hungry. I see. Then to the restaurant we go. To fuel our efforts and maintain our health, sustenance is required. You. You sure into the, are into this effort stuff? Hmm. Naturally. Effort is vital in life to build up strength. Hey. As my debate partner, I must ask, is effort truly that vital? What does this mean? I beg your pardon? Like I said. It's an endless cycle of effort, effort, and more effort to meet expectations with no end in sight. But... Aren't there a lot of people who ultimately don't end up with a single thing they want? <laughs> That may be true, yes. The world in which we live is far from a fair one. Got it! But even so, that's society's error. Huh? You hear me? Effort is rewarded, especially for kids who believe in the power of effort. You understand? That should be the true goal of society. It is my goal to build such a society. Don't mess with me. Build a society? That's a pretty childish idea. Hmm. Have you not considered it yet? Huh? 
You hear me? You're a hard worker who studies a lot, worthy of respect. After debating with you, this is evident. Mm. As long as you put in the effort, you will surely become someone who can help build a new society. Huh? Me build a new society? Count on it! Indeed. What kind of world would you want? Huh? That's not something I've ever thought about. <laughs> no, there's no need to answer now. Just keep it in the back of your mind from today forward. Got it! When you find the answer, I'd be more than happy to exchange ideas with you again. <laughs> I never even considered changing society myself. But... But I'll give it some thought. <laughs> yes, I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, an actual uh, scene that's quite interesting to have Nagisa in for a change. Where it doesn't involve him basically being bratty and annoying towards the other people. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of wholesome. Kiyotaka, not just a dabbly character, but also apparently a good teacher character who can motivate people. Good to know. Right. Mid boss. Get out of here, dragon dragon head. Right. You're down. Very good. I think we'll just stick around on the second island for the remainder of this run and do friendly events. Maybe. Do you think? I think that'd probably be a good thing to do. If I really want to find fresh potential for my talent, I should try some crazy stuff. Dance atop a mountain or read by the ocean. I mean reading by the ocean's not really very crazy. So we'll go with dancing atop a mountain. I might be inspired if I dance where there's nobody around. <laughs> sure thing, Kiyotaka. I'm so low. <laughs> oh, at least our defence went up, apparently. Oh dear. Ah. Decided that I'm going to do an outdoor mime performance. I see! The festival is part of camp, thus an official school function. I must put everything into it. Uh, practice with the older Byakuya. Does he mean the proper Byakuya? Junko? Oh, we have not seen much of Junko this playthrough. Not seen much of Mahiru either. I'm kind of tempted for one of these ones. Ah, uh, fuck it. Go on, Junko. It's going to be crazy. Why not? Oh, never mind. It's Mukuro, who we have actually seen a lot of. No, no. You're going to lose your balance. Pay attention to uh, your centre of gravity. I see! Understood. How does this look? I'm close. Getting there, now extend your focus to the tips of your fingers or you'll look totally amateur. Yes, ma'am. How's this? Thanks to Junko's drill sergeant instruction, my performance improved drastically. Okay, was she doing a drill? <laughs> was the real soldier coming out there in Mukuro? She was going all drill sergeant on ya. So, yes, sir. Begin Ishimaru. Five press ups on the double. Go, go, go. <laughs> hmm. More red talent fragments. Might as well try and get some other ones, mightn't we? Some of the green ones especially, since uh, that very much seems to be Tarka's thing. So, obviously we have Red. Fighting Spirit. Oh, that's the one that resurrects an ally. I suppose, yeah, we will try and get some talent fragments while we're here. Just so, you know, Tarka can be sort of like a backup character, should we ever uh, desire to put him into a combat party. Not that I really have inten any intention of doing so. But hey... Right. Let's go towards this talent fragment square in the library. Ooh, okay. Over here. Uh, let's get a generic growth square. Very good. And now let's head in. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Do we have to loop around like that? Nope, because we've still got one square remaining. Hmm. Oh, right, this way instead, apparently. There we go. Right, let's get some green. Ah, uh, we're at five. Okay, that double to ten. We'll try and get some more of them. Uh, let's see. Oh, one. Sure. Mid boss. Masaru gives a card. Double move. Oh. He just challenged me to a duel. Well, I can go and certainly beat the shit out of this small child. Let's go and do that. As soon as we uh, get that dual card, well, we have got the dual card one, I'm thinking. Uh, get rid of, um, yeah, that one. Already got one of those bad boys. Boom. And boom. Owned. Excellent. Come on, Talent Fragment Square. That's what we want. Rip. Mm. It's not quite what I wanted, but hey. Uh, should we do another friendly event? Sure. Ah. Got it! God, we're getting some real interesting character combinations this episode, aren't we? Hurry it up now. Take out everything you're concealing. 
<laughs> well, this is everything, dude. This is all I have today. I'm serious. Uh, what's going on? So if he has a hero's involved, I can already imagine. You hear me? Just so you know, this isn't a shakedown. It's a random inspection exclusively for Yasuhiro. a hero. <laughs> help me! Isn't it depressive to single me out? Help me out here, Samoogs. I understand. Sorry, but even without a backstory, I'm sure Kiyotaka is in the right. Oh, no! What do you mean, even without a backstory? <laughs> but why? All I was doing was offering unbeatable bargains for quality goods. Okay. That's wrong! First, running a business in, business in the academy is prohibited unless it's related to your talent. Uh... Like how Terra Terra serves food at the cafeteria, or how Ifumi sells comics. Huh? I went through all the proper channels first. Didn't you apply to do fortune telling as a hero? Why? But you never applied to sell goods. Is it because you didn't think you'd get approved? <sighs> Smooks, you Judas. I guess I'm not surprised since you look like you're on the student council. That's enough! Don't judge others by their appearance. That could be considered sexual harassment in some contexts. Sure. Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah, you're too strict, Kyotax. I feel like you're extra strict with me, dude. With me, dude, even. That's probably because it's true. Oh. Hello? Oh, God. Jesus. I was spamming enter then, and for some reason it wasn't en it wasn't proceeding the text forward. Anyway, I'll be confiscating the crystal ball, bracelet, vase, and ornaments. Please! At least handle them with care, dude. Those are all primo, high value items. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like my imagination was spot on. Not that I'm particularly happy about that. <laughs> okay, he has a hero caught trying to sell strange objects. Seems to be lagging again. Must be something on my computer in the background. It's causing it to momentarily just slow down a bit. Not that that's too much. Ooh. Careful. Right, back to the talent fragment square. Thank you. Uh, more green ones, please. Shrip. Yeah, it is lagging out a little bit for some reason. Not much. Just getting little lag spikes all of a sudden. Yeah, oh god, what's happening? Jesus. Okay, maybe I need to do a jump cut just to let it stabilise. One moment all. Okay, back in. Hopefully that just calms it down a bit. We'll see. Sometimes I find with games when they start to have little stutters like that. Sort of pausing and then restarting. Never mind, it's doing it again. Why is the game freaking out like that? Very weird. Uh, let's go to the growth square. Sure. Grow me up, baby! There we are. Alright, it's a special event time, or no, it's just you? Get out of here. Okie dokie, so long. Thank you. Thank Dunk Oh god. Copy the double move card, I don't really need two of them. I'm not, I shouldn't be carrying these Central Island cards, because to be honest. I don't think I'm going to be using them, am I? If I'm just staying on here. And just getting friendly events and all that. Alright, just go here. Let's see how many we can get. Before eventually we just start getting monocle ones. And all that. Celestia. Mm. I've learned Shogi with you countless times while attending Hope Speak Academy, but... Mm. What say you? Care to try your hand at something else this time? Well... Oh my, I never expected you to make such a suggestion. Got it! Even I'm capable of a bit of imagination on a trip like this. <laughs> to make our time here truly productive, we should have a slight change of pace. <sighs> Reasoning aside, what manner of match did you have in mind? In other words... This right here, a video game. Oh! Oh my, I didn't know you played games. <sighs> is that surprising? What well, is true that I once believed that games interfered with studies. You hear me? After witnessing Chiaki's steady efforts day after day, my mind was eventually changed. Well... So which game did you have in mind? Not that it matters, my victory is assured regardless. Count on it! Of the games here, it seems we can play Shogi, Chess, or even Mayong. So then... But those truly be much different from the Shogi matches we've played previously. Hmm. Who can say? But it feels like a different experience and your look may differ as well. <laughs> I see. So those are the differences you meant. Count on it! Precisely. Now let us begin. <laughs> Electronic game or otherwise, it's all the same to me. I shall win every round, as always. Okay. Okay, Celestia. <laughs> Right. Yeah, let's keep aiming for some friendly events. So like I say, it might just get us closer to getting some more coins, potentially. Uh, let's get a level up. There we are. Uh, do I still have that one move? Or did I use it? No, I threw it away, didn't I? Well, never mind. Never let you mind. Um, let's go to the uh, Town Fragment Square again. Uh, green, please. Oh, God. Is lagging again. Stuttering a bit. Maybe it's just because, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just a hot day. And the P 
PC is running hot or something. I don't know. I'll have to check. Don't think it will be necessarily, but I'll keep an eye on it. Don't you worry. Oh, is it? Surgery. That's what. Well. So then. Sure. It's okay. I'm prepared to take the risk, even if it fails, since we're not trying to go very far in this one. Hey! Well, failed. Never mind. <laughs> ah. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh. Oh. That's painful for some of those. Eh, it's not too bad though. It's not the worst. We can always level it back up in the remaining days. Great. Uh, five. Let's, uh, mm, actually, let's uh, go here. Let's get some of our stuff back. There we are. See, that just took it back up pretty much instantly. So not much of a loss there. Uh, one. Mid-boss, please. Okay. There he is. Instantly defeated. Right, let's try and get on that talent fragment square a bit more. Try and get some more bits and pieces, or maybe onto a friendly event square. Two. Uh, can we go to the cards one, which I'm not really interested in? Oh, Kaide. Three move. Let's get rid of that one. And see what we get from here. Speed and intellect, maybe? Or strength, perhaps? Okay, intellect and double move. Not bad. Uh, we've got two freaking double move cards. Need to get rid of that other one. There we go. Central Island card, that is. Bonfire. Here it is. It's been a while, right? But our time here is almost over. I'm having a bonfire as a send-off. Count on it! What an invaluable and informative time I had. Straying from my comfort zone was so refreshing. Mm-hmm. Uh, work with the other Byakuya. Speaking with the child prodigies. Uh, let's talk to Hajime. Why not? Got it! Hajime, if you have any opinions to share about this field trip, I'm all ears. Please do tell. You're right. Arr, well, let's see. Well, it was fun. I'm coming away with countless crazy memories. But... I'm sure plenty of others would disagree, though. I just happened to be invited. Hey! Most of the Reserve Corps students will graduate without any kind of special treatment, Arr. Mm. Mm. Indeed, it's difficult to consider this academy a well-administered one. Mm. It's beca but it's because society relies so heavily on talent that a school like this one exists. I see! To change Hope Speak Academy, society itself would have to be changed in turn. Yeah. Arr, talent can be a remarkable thing after all. It's only natural to rely on it. But... But there's more to life than just talent. One can't solely rely on it. <laughs> exactly. Let us discuss this further, for the sake of a better future. I spent some valuable time with Hajime. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Oh, got so many red fragments. It's great. Right. Just keep trying to aim for some of these friendly events and things. Uh, is there a friendship square somewhere down here? I mean, there's just growth ones. Right, let's go to this one, then. Grow a little more. Thank you. Double move card. Don't really want that. Should probably actually use our dual card to beat up Masaru before we <laughs> before we end this. Uh, let's see. Ah, friendship, friendship square. Very good. Oh. What? Okay, I think we've uh, completed all of Kiyotaka's friendly events because basically now we're getting monocubs. Hey, what's this? Your product lineup isn't bad. I have to make sure I don't fall behind. Well. Hey, is there anything else you want to see added to the beach house menu? You shared your opinion about the beach house with Monoske. Okay. Right, so, we're done with that. That's fine. So we can get back to that town fragment square once more. If I double a move, maybe they'll... Wait. Hold on. Uh, if we go one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we might just be able to do it if we use this, maybe? Yes. That works. Okay. Over here. Very good. Hello, Sakura. Card for me, please. Ah, there. Double move that I don't need. Um, green. Thank you. Very good. It's up to 40. High jump. I don't want, don't want that to get rid of it. Ooh, right. Shall we? Um, hmm. Well, we're not getting any more talent fragments at this point, are we? Might as well just try and, uh, yeah, use a growth square. And then we'll go and beat up Masaru, because why not? <laughs> uh, we were, uh, you know, a good sort of respected authority figure for many of the kids, and now we're about to go and beat up one of them. Abuse our position of authority. Right, Masaru, I know you've been waiting a while, but here we are. I'm going to beat the shit out of you, boy. Right, you're going to be no match for me. Do you reckon I can one-shot him? Yep, yeah, I can. As you'd expect, because he's a freaking tiny-ass little kid. Ooh, talent fragments. 
Uh, let's get some blue ones. Why not? In case we need to spend any. Uh, oh, 40. Pretty good. Alright. So we should be good for our development. Oh, and we get this event, of course. Oh, and he is worth a cut ramen in a bingo competition. I wonder what to do with it. Share it with everyone or eat it alone? Uh, share with everyone. I can't eat it all myself, so I'll spread the joy. I shared it with everyone. It was all gone before I even realised it. Days later, I received a bunch of food in return. I wonder what to do with this. Okay, why don't you share it with everyone again? <laughs> all right, there we go. Development done for Kiyotaka R rank. Got it. The fruits of my labours may be small today, but they shall be my foundation for the future. Well, let's uh, get some skills then. Not that we're really going to be taking him out into battle mode in all likelihood. Uh, right. So he's a balanced character. So we could probably just get him some like generic uh, helpful skills, like recover influence, maybe some fighting spirit perhaps. Uh, so he could have three things, couldn't he? So he could very much be a supporting character, or unless we get him. Um, Maybe some skill power-ups as well. Hmm. Increased power of skill attacks, that is, but... Still, what is this grey menu, by the way? I still don't know what the deal is with this, why that's even a page. It's very weird. Alright, well, let's get, um... Let's see... Maybe we, uh... Yeah, just... Hmm. Elemental Barrier could be a good one, actually, because that uses a lot of the blue ones, which is actually pretty good. Maybe what we get is um, Cover Influence, Fighting Spirit. So, pour those into there. Oh, we're already out of green. Never mind. Okay, well, we'll get those. And some Elemental Barrier. Use our uh, blue ones. Wow. You're going to be quite tough with that, aren't you, there? So, yeah, it is just three skills, isn't it, that Kiyotaka can get. Let me just test... Yeah, he can't. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, just get rid of the sword staff because we don't want that one. Okay, well, that'll do then. That can be what Kiyotaka goes with for now. Excellent. Development complete. He's alright. Not too bad. Okay, did we get anything from the Usami flower? Looks like we did. A couple more coins. Yes. Perfect. Very, very good. So one more character, and I think we've done 30, which might mean another Monocub Hope Fragment. Okay, hold up. Let's uh, spin. Spin like so. I uh, don't really want a Hifumi W rank card, but okay. Come on, give us a good character. Mm. Okay. Didn't really want either of those, but they'll do, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, right, well, join me next time, ladies and gentlemen, where we'll uh, probably do another episode on the, the uh, development board. And after that, it may well be the case that uh, we unlock another Monocle Pope fragment for the episode after. So we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. Social media links, along with a link to my propagandist channel, are down below if you're interested in those. And if you, you know, if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. That's key. Yuri. And of course, Monica. No Sayori. No Sayori. Rip in peace. Could I really be so happy spending every day after school in a magician club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make some most of my circumstances, but I'm sure good fortune will find me. I don't think it will, mate. Not after what's happened so far, which you can't seem to remember. But I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Time to write a poem. Oh. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. No. No. No.